Hello, people, and welcome to another tutorial by Happy Cloud Solutions. Today, we are going to be looking at how to automatically assign tags in Azure. So the scenario we'll be looking at today is how to automatically assign the creator and the created date tag to any resource created in a particular subscription. So today, we will be needing a resource group, a function app, an event grid, storage account, and of course, an Azure subscription. So to start, I'm going to firstly create a resource group. I'm going to name it auto tag RG. And my region is going to be Australia East. So now let's do this review plus create. and then create. So now we've done that, we're gonna create a function app. So click create, select the resource group that was just created and you can give it a name, I would say HTS tutorial for tagging. And for runtime, we're going to use a PowerShell core region, Australia East, operating system Windows, and I would leave the hosting plan as consumption. Right. So next, go to storage. I'll leave the storage like that. So this creates a new storage for me automatically. Networking, leave it as it is. Monitoring, leave it as it is. Deployment, tags, leave it as it is. And just change this region to Australia East. All right. Review plus create. All right, for some reasons, um, the function app takes, takes time to create. So I'm gonna pause this video and come back once the function app has been created. All right. All right, so we have the function app being created here. The next thing to do is to go to the app files and we're gonna let that load. While we're in the app files, we will go to the requirements of PSD one. So you would first of all have to uncomment the AZ module here. And there are other modules that I would like to include, which is az.accounts. Cause I found out that, you know, when I was creating mine without this az.accounts module, it was actually failing. So to resolve this, I had to add a module for AZ account. So I'll just say anyone from to point and then i'll also have to add the az dot resources all right and i'll say six dot any so the asterisk sign basically means any so instead of me choosing a particular version and saying six dot eleven point one i'll just say six dot any and what that does is it takes anyone from 6. Dot, maybe 6.11, 6.11.1, whatever it is, but from 6. All right, so I'm going to save this. After you save this, you're going to restart. But before I restart that, there's one. Okay, let me go restart that and start that first. So you have to restart that so the changes kick in. So we're going to restart the function app now when it's set. All right, so we will start this. So now the next thing is to go to identity and to enable system assigned identity. So when you do that, you save, click on yes, and wait for it to load. Once it's reloaded, the next thing we'll do is to enable rule assignment for this. So I'm just gonna refresh the portal. All right. So we have this here, Azure Rule Assignments. 
I'll click on add role assignments, select the scope as subscription, and the role is going to be tag contributor. Save. Saved. All right, it's gonna take some time to reflect here, but as long as it's saved, it should work. So now, just take note, what we've done here is we've updated the app files. We've also updated the identity section. And the next thing that we're going to do now is to create um, an Azure function. So first of all, I'll go to overview and I'll click on create an Azure portal. All right. So just leave this as it is, developing portal, and then scroll down and find Azure Event Grid Trigger. So click on this, and you can leave the name as it is, or you can choose the name of your choice, and then select Create. Right, we'll wait for that to create. And once the function is done creating, you'll be taken directly to the page. So now this is the function page that we have. Just before I do anything here, I'm going to go to the subscription that I'll be using for this and I'll go to events. So in events, you would select Azure functions. All right. So you just give it a name, um, auto tag on, leave event grid as it is, select the resource group that was created for this and then give it a name auto tagging topic. And because we just want the change to be done only when a create operation is done, we'll select all on select all of this and only leave resource rights success. So we want this to be, we want the tagging to be applied when we successfully created an Azure resource. So the next thing you select an endpoint. So here we select the endpoint, and to do that, you select the subscription of your choice, then the resource group that was created for this, and then automatically the function app that we created will populate here, and also the function that we created earlier. So you just click on confirm selection. All right. So other parts here are probably used when you want to filter for a particular resource. For example, if I only want automatic tagging to apply to maybe a resource group or a particular Azure resource, then I can filter it here. But currently, I want the automated tagging to apply for all resources created on Azure. So once that is done, I'll click on Create and just wait for that to get created. All right, so it's shown that we have successfully created that. So the next thing that we would do is go back to the function app that we created, All right? And then click on the event trigger, go to code plus test. And then you see this here, we're just gonna add um, another line of code here. And we would update this later to contain more, um, more commands, which will enable us to automatically assign you know, tags. But first, I just want us to see something with this. All right, so I'm just gonna leave this part open and I'm gonna create a resource group. And what I want to show you is basically the names for how how Azure calls a particular resource group by name, and also the names and the values that are going to be used for these tagging purposes. So here, I'm just going to create a resource group, and I'll call it Test Event RG. And Australia is, of course, Review plus create and create. All right, so it shows that it has created. 
So I'm just going to go to the monitor view instead so I get a better view of everything. So waiting for the monitor view to load. So basically in this monitor view, we can look at the logs to see what is currently going on. So remember, I just created a resource group. So just if we wait a bit, we'll see that it's going to populate with detailed logs on, you know, what was involved in creating that resource group. And that is the values and the parameters that we're going to use when we are updating our PowerShell script for this code. So I'm just going to pause this as I wait for the logs to populate because sometimes it actually takes time to populate. So let's do that. All right, so it's populated the logs from the resource group that was just created. And what I wanted to show us here is that what is going to be used for the PowerShell scripts, the values we're basically gotten from here. For example, for the name value that tells us who created the environment will be gotten from name Happy Cloud Solutions, all right? And that's just basically how, um, what I wanted to show you and how we went about it. So you're not, you know, in the dark, like how did that happen? All right. So moving forward, we are going to update the script to contain all that we need to enable it, run and capture the creator and the date created by. All right, let's do this. So I'm just gonna copy this code and place it here. Basically, the patch you need is from this parameter value from line 17 all the way down. So this is basically telling us that, you know, it's going to take the name from data.claims.name, which I just showed us in the JSON file. And then it's going to take the date from the from whatever the current date is at the moment. You can always change this date format to the one that suits you. Maybe put the date first before the month. And then what this try catch does is that it's going to update the tag with a particular value. If you use new hyphen AZ tag, it's to overwrite, but it's best for you to use update.az tag. All right, so now we're going to save this. All right, it is saved. And now this is done, we'll go and create a resource group. So what I'll do is I'll delete the one that was just created and then recreate it. Delete. And now we're gonna create another one. Review plus create, create, and then we wait for the resource group to be created. After the resource group is created, we also have to wait for the um, function app to run. And after it runs, it then initiates, you know, all that you have listed in your PowerShell script, which is to include the creator tag, to include the created date tag and then update your environment. So in creating this resource group, you can see that the tags have been automatically assigned. Date created is this and creator is Happy Cloud Solutions. If you go back to the event grid trigger, you would also look at the logs. And if you see the log, you see that it's taken, this is where it took it from. The date created is this and the creator is Happy Cloud Solutions. So it basically just lists it here. And it says that the event trigger was succeeded. So this is basically how you can automatically update your tags. You know, you can remove the issue of human error. Maybe people forget to tag resources during creation. The 
this automatic, you know, way or this automation basically can enable and reduce stress from your administrators or developers and just let them focus on, you know, the main operations for, you know, keeping your environment up and running. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you were able to learn um, it's in or two and also get this working in your environment. Thank you.